Hey folks, Ariel over here at Fineth with an update on our little baby Viking chickens. The Icelandic chickens, if you've been following along on our Broody Mama Hen Chronicles, are three weeks old today and it is incredible how fast they have been growing up. I really feel like we don't really have chicks anymore. We now have small chickens with a little bit of baby fuzz still around their heads. I'm just amazed at how fast they've feathered out. And when I look back at the photos of their parents' generation, um, they are definitely feathering fast faster than their parents did, which is interesting. I don't know if that's due to different weather this year or if it's due to actually being raised by a real live mother hen or what all makes the difference, but it's pretty amazing to watch. And this footage is filmed over about the course of the last week. So as you go through here, you'll kind of see the changes and how they get more and more mature looking. So for the first night, Mama and her babies are all sleeping in this nest box. Up until now, they've been sleeping in their crate right over there at night. But tonight, she decided it was time for them to get off the floor, at least up this high. I love watching them poke their heads out like that. And I'm really curious to see when she'll decide it's time for them to go up there and uh, sleep with everybody else. Blackie is continuing to be an excellent mother, showing them everything they need to know, what good yummy food is. That was a little bit of old frozen tomatoes I gave them on a hot afternoon. We've had some of those actually now in between the snow. Um, and to be defensive of them if she thinks anybody gets too close to them, but they are also noticeably starting to range uh, across a wider area and explore farther and farther from their mom and do more and more of their own hunting and pecking and napping and dust bathing and climbing and flying and all of that stuff. So I'll be interested to see how long it takes for her to just decide, okay, you all are grown up, you're on your own, and I'm going to go back to laying more eggs again. That'll be kind of fascinating. But it is also just really fun to watch them turning into chickens and uh, I'm too busy to spend as much time as I would like doing this, but every time I've been able to, I've sat down either with or without the camera and just watched them because they grow up so fast.
They certainly seem even more so maybe than their parents to be very, very hardy birds. I can see how these guys survived in Iceland for centuries because they have had, you know, almost no human handling, as in every now and then I've picked one up to show the camera and they're very unimpressed with that. But they've been entirely raised by their mama, entirely running around outside. There's they've got access to a little bit of, you know, kind of chick crumble grain, but um, they don't seem to pay much attention to it. They're too busy hunting bugs, digging worms, eating bits of fish, munching on grass, and doing all the normal chicken things. And despite the fact that it was warm and sunny when some of this was filmed for the majority of their three weeks of life so far, it's rained or snowed and been below freezing. So it's pretty incredible how um, tough they've been because none of that's included any kind of external heat or a heat lamp, just uh, snuggling up with their mama. Despite the fact that they're not staying real close to their mom anymore, she is still definitely keeping an eye on what they're doing. Here they are pecking and scratching kind of right down the fence line at the one edge of the property. And what you can't see because it's out of the film is Zipper, our one cat, was walking down the other side and kind of, he was a few feet away, but he was kind of stopping and looking at the moving chicks through the, you know, taller grass there along the fence. And Blackie came right over and told all the kids to scram sideways and she marched up and down the side of that fence clucking very indignantly and uh, the cat looked over and decided nope no I don't think that's something I want to even think about messing with at all so that's uh that's kind of amazing to see and so far all nine are 
still growing and healthy and it'll be interesting if here in a little while we can start to tell who's males and females um, but it's fun watching all their different feather colors of their real feathers as they show up and, and pondering which pair of mothers and fathers might have possibly produced that color since we have two roosters and 15 hens and I don't know which one any of these eggs actually came from. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching a little bit of our little chicks turning into small chickens. And if I was going to guess, I'd say there'll probably be one more update after this, and then they'll kind of just be part of the main chicken flock. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.